okay so the first one is hi guys hope you're all all is well you've been quiet for a bit since the last ama for your information i didn't sell my bags and fuck off like you said i should <laughs> but i feel like i touched a nerve or two uh yeah not at all you didn't touch a nerve at all um we've been quiet because we've just literally i haven't been here uh for a few weeks i've been on holiday and uh so we we haven't really had the production here for the amas and things like that um but you didn't touch any nerves at all uh we did tell you to sell your precious rtm like we do uh to everyone who's emotionally fixed to prices um but it seems like you held uh, but if we had begged you to hold and provided many reasons why you should have held uh then you might have done the opposite so we consider that a complete win and thanks for sticking around as well fellow raptor uh next question uh what is the competitive advantage of raptorium assets over other blockchains that provide asset capability there are many chains that provide this feature is there a set of metrics that we can use to measure against other blockchains and say rtm does it better what stands out as unique to rtm uh piggy yeah, uh, i'll i'll take that um i mean we have no additional code needed to create assets additionally to that uh, we've got fully formed utxo sets for assets which include some automation meaning that a lot of the additional features um that require a second contract on ethereum on evm chains like vesting and dispersal contracts uh, they're not needed raven does some of this but currently not very well and they have some serious issues to clean up with missing checks on asset transactions they currently have at least some assets on chain that could be spent by anyone which is not desirable okay uh are you doing um, that one but i mean, but I mean apart, apart from that like a list not really because you can't compare us to evm chains since we're not using the secondary code layer to to create assets um it, it's we can give you some points that tell you why we're unique but that's it okay uh, the next question is, I heard RTM has a soft fork capability to modify fees for certain transactions. Is it the devs who decide the change in the fees? Does this not centralize control and introduce risks associated with centralization? Uh, Piggy? Yeah, we do. And yes, it is. And no, it doesn't provided that we're transparent about what's going on and everybody knows beforehand that basically we will keep for example asset issuance transactions under ten dollars at all costs okay it was mainly added in as a safeguard against some of the absolutely insane things we've seen on evm chains in 2020 2022 that period where it costs 50 bucks to send 10 bucks um but also at the same time we're going to use it to make sure that we don't price anybody out of the market for example we're creating paceability tokens and that kind of stuff once we hit the vendor platform we want to make very sure that we're not pricing anybody out of the market there are some huge markets in Indonesia, Brazil, Southeastern Asia, rest of Latin America, uh, Central America, so many places where too high fees will just mean that people won't even think about it. They won't even think about using it honestly. And uh, we want to open up that part of the world to crypto and make it easy for them so um if you think that's centralized go hop on an evm chain where code upgrades come from a single node 
Okay. Uh, next question is, uh, well, I don't know whether it's a question. I appreciate the team's hard work and resilience. Don't worry about the market and keep on building. Good things come to those who have patience and hard work. Anything you want to say about that, Sherm? Well, we, we never stop, you know. Just keep working and we'll just keep working, keep building and keep growing. Absolutely. Alejandra? Any nice uh, well, we miss you. We'll miss you, Binary. <laughs> and yes, we are working hard. Yeah, we never stop. We keep working and, and we are building Brazil a community. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this is going to be fantastic on Brazil. I, I, we just need to grow up more and take, it will take a little time, but it, it will be fantastic. Brazil is a huge market. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's thanks for your support, you. bro. Uh, you know, it's comments like this that keep us, uh, keep us going. Uh, we're rel relentless and we never give up. So thank you so much. Next question is, pre please provide an update on the scaling feature that decouples transactions onto side chains. Thank you. Uh, Piggy, you want those to features are hitting the test net later in the year. They're actually the next thing we're starting on pushing public code for. Once we've finished, there is currently one odd bug um, on basic Bitcoin 18 core upgrade and assets upgrade and then that will hit the test net once that's done this will hit the test net awesome uh next question is in one of the amas the team said that someone is interested in creating stable coins on rtm it was conditional on meeting certain tps are there any updates on tps estimates and whether it meets their expectation no and there won't be until middle of next year I would say, where we've had a chance to have had the, the, what do you call it, the decoupled transactions running for three to six months. So there's a statistical basis for saying something about TPS. I mean, TPS is such a malleable concept because you can stress a network and force it to take an obscene number of transactions in a very short time. If you do it correctly, like calling different contracts that have sub calls and all that kind of stuff, because each one of those calls represents a transaction, but actual transactions, um, they want about, I believe it's 2,500 or so which should be easily doable once we've got everything out. Okay. The next question is how long would the testnet phase of assets last? When can we expect it to go live? Um, I suppose it's, it's hard to say really it depends on the amount of participation. Uh, and if anything starts on fire, um, it needs to be thoroughly tested. Um, we have to understand that this is something that is completely new to the blockchain space uh, in the way we are doing it. And also it's extremely important that we do it right and set the example for all as well. Also, this is coming out in stages. It's not all coming in one giant pile because that would turn into a dog's breakfast of broken code. It's going to come out with initially without a lot of the fancy stuff then we're going to add in the fancy stuff on the test net and then roll from there to the main net why are we doing it like that we've already got two different teams building third-party marketplaces and platforms etc plus the team have a platform a vendor platform an official rtm vendor platform planned as well uh, so, in order to facilitate that those are actually there and can be used once assets hit the main net, we've got to do it gradually. Because you can't, I can't just, we push this to main net and then tomorrow Dirty has a fully formed, ready to go vendor platform. 
it, it just didn't happen. Um, so that's why it's going to be gradual, so that a lot of this stuff can actually be there and can be used once we get there. So instead of doing build it and then they'll come, we are going to do build it and uh, here's how you can use it. Yep. Uh, okay, next question is how can we support the RTM exchange rate? It seems to me that what is happening on the stock exchange can demotivate someone. Uh, well, I suppose I'll answer that. I was, if you are motivated by the fiat price of something, then I think you shouldn't be in blockchain. Um, you should look at what a project is building, um, look at all the hard work that goes into, uh, into, into a project, see the value that is disconnected from a fiat value, uh, see the end goal in what is being created. And only then you might understand uh, what the value is uh, to yourself and also to others around you um, all and uh, most coins are down right now uh, and this is the overall end result of market conditions uh, this is something that does change and is not a fixed thing um, i think the simple fact that uh, we are still actively traded and have half decent volume considering the market is testament to what to expect uh, in the future when the markets do turn around. I mean, just think when we started, we we were happy to get a thousand dollars volume. <laughs> that was something brilliant. But now we're trading at eighteen thousand dollars in the in the depths of a bear market. So that's something to think about. Yeah. Um. Next question it's in Russian. I did convert it. I'm not sure whether the conversion is right. Um, when will we break into the top cryptocurrencies? Okay, I'll answer myself. I don't know when. Uh, I think the simple fact you said uh, when and not if, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, but I think we're all ex working extremely hard every day and if we deliver a good product then anything is possible uh i think one has to understand that we are bringing something entirely new to the table uh we are intent on shaking up the space and uh we we don't want to fit in uh we believe we have all the pieces of the puzzle to make that happen uh beat the talent uh, beat the code and also the mindset of the team as well so you know we're, we're positive about things next question is uh it, is it never too late if the project is good will this be p be fulfilled with rtm i mean we believe in it otherwise we wouldn't be working on it end of story uh it's up to the world to decide if the conditions are right and we're in a good position to really get everything moving in the way we want okay uh next question is i'd like a new picture each time anyone sends to a common wallet or rain at least 69 rtm on the discord in the adult ch adult content channel would it be possible i mean anything is possible but is this valuable to you and everyone else? Do you need an image created when every and any time someone sends sixty nine RTM? <laughs> what do you say, guys? Could we do that? Could be a fun bot. Yeah, could be. This thirties realm though. <laughs> That's thirties channel. We need thirty for that one. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the bot have to be intelligent to see which pictures are right because if they, if it's not, they're just gonna be sending shitty pictures there. We we need good quality pictures to see. If you well, we'll, we'll, we'll pre I have an pictures. idea for that. Oh, oh there we are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There, I, you can hear me now. All right, cool. cool. So, what's your idea? Uh, I'll uh, DM it to you later. It, it's kind of a process. Okay. All right. So we got plans okay all right so you're not so it's not a public thing then no yeah yeah it is but 
We just can't remember. You don't want to tell all the steps right now. Okay, no problem. No, uh, we can keep it a secret for like a <clears throat> couple of days or something. All right. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Uh, the next question is, who the fuck is that Francis living at room 303 Ildeport Mahe Mar Seychelles? Uh, that is our head office address where our business is registered. It's the house of Francis. It's not Francis's actual house. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um. I think this is the same guy. He says, "Does he, does he have a back door leading to a secret world? Because there are a lot of companies registered to this room. Uh, I mean, lots of companies are registered in that building uh, because there are lots of companies registered through the business that manages it all at that location. Uh, it's entirely a normal thing for uh, businesses that are registered in that manner." Yeah. Uh, I think this is the same guy again. Does he cook pasta? Do post it if you have a serious question. I mean, he might he might cook pasta. He might cook pasta very well. Um, I suggest you go and pay a visit. Ask ask him. See if Francis cooks a good pasta dish, and uh, he might invite you in. Keep us posted. Uh -huh. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> Yeah, let us know how he, how he is and, and if it's any good. Uh, next question is, I just want to say, guys, ignore the FUD and the bad. Keep doing what you're doing. We are with you all the way. Uh, Alejandro, what do you want to say to that? Yes, that's, a, that's the way the community have to be. We have to be together. We have to be strong. We have to support the, the social networks of, of, of all the communities. That's the way you grow up and that's the way you go to the first places. That's the way Litecoin people and Dogecoin people and Dogecoin community and all these communities have been doing. Just keep growing and keep supporting the team. That's the way. Fantastic. Okay, next question is, can you tell us something about the development team and what makes them absolutely suitable for this job? Thank you. Piggy? Well, it's we have a very unique combination of skills, and it matches exactly what we're doing, really. <clears throat> uh, Tree has a background in AI, AI and blockchain. Jamie has a background in embedded C systems. That's one of the highest levels of C programming you'll find. He is a literal rocket engineer rocket scientist um what else do we have jake is an expert in apache spark which is what we're going to be using for our contracting engine virus pre turtle cat really knows his stuff and his way around online automation and hardening online automation he's going to be a bit more active once we get to the platform phase, which is very soon. Uh, Fernando is one of the most skilled C programmers from, yeah, an entire country. I'm not going to say where he's from. That's up to him. Um, and I mean, it, it, it's a good team. End of story. We've gotten some really good people onto it. If we lack anything, it's maybe the sort of front end, make it pretty stuff. But we can definitely make it work. Okay. Next question is, hi guys, I would just like to say that I love the production you guys put on for the streams. It is very good and very high quality, but I feel that some of the short videos are badly worded and do not fit in line <coughs> with your branding. They are like bad adverts. People respect Raptoria more if you give useful things and do not try to sell yourself so much. Please don't take any offence. 
thank you. Uh, I do the production for the streams. I put a lot of time into it. I make them on OBS. This stream is on OBS. Um, I've actually upgraded my internet, so the streams moving forward might be going out in 4K if we pass a few uh, tests that I haven't managed to do yet. Um, but as we do each stream, it gets better every time. Uh, the more work that, that I do on it, I appreciate that. Um, some of the shorts are actually done by Alejandro. Some of them are done by H&S. Um, and they've been utilising some AI aspects towards that. I do agree uh, that some do not carry the branding very well. Um, we have actually had a recent chat about some of the shorts. Uh, haven't we, Alejandro? <laughs> um, and we will be unifying and making them more in line with our... Uh, branding and core marketing mission so i totally agree um uh, you are Sorry right about that, i think uh why not i um uh, people who want to do things better than uh, for the project is very good they are welcome you know they are welcome aboard because it's easy to say things and of course we respect them uh, but it's very hard to work with a uh, new content with uh, ai content like I answered to somebody on the YouTube channel, it's not easy to create. It's a way to transmit one message. If they have a better way, this is a community, this is not a company, you see? So everybody is welcome to do more content and do better things. I think that's the way that a community grow up. Of course, this is a AI um, content. I hope so people like it. I think my numbers, the ones that I see on YouTube, on TikTok and everything, they are growing up and the people do like so i think is is touching people and it's everywhere everywhere you go you go to youtube you go to tiktok you go to twitter you see ER content so it's, it's very easy uh, to see that on the network now so i think it, why not to try it anyway you guys are doing a great job with the other content which is different than ei content you have been done that a uh, this other guy help us a lot with a short about uh, that and i think it's great but if we have ai i think it's fantastic anyway we are of course we are going to better make it better i think yes. uh i think one of the main things with ai is it doesn't uh it doesn't show the wording sometimes in the best way it gets a bit muddled up with with the way it displays the wording um but so so we just need to review it better and uh and things like yeah. that but yeah um whoever it was who asked that question thank you we don't take any offense we always take things on board and we we have been discussing uh how to make our shorts better internally so uh so we we are going we are focusing on on that moving forward as well uh okay next question is regarding test nets main net or marketing what would you say are the next three or four milestones in Raptorium development, uh, David? Yeah, very easy. Um, we have one, literally one bug to iron out in the current development branch code. Once that's done, it's going to testnet. And then it's going to be expansions of the testnet from there with the, um, what do we call them? Ah. Uh, transactions decoupling uh once we've got that finished end of year roughly assets on mainnet okay awesome that that's really the three or four main things i mean the market and politics might change that but let's see I hope not. <laughs> uh, next one is, Hi, Raptorium team. Not a question as such, but a few mentions. This is Xtron or XT, as I'm known in other places. I have been in the space from the start. Binary, Paul Mills, Memory Mills, Metrics, or whatever you are known as these days. Do you remember me? Um, I mean, I've I've met a lot of people over the years. I can't say I remember you, bro. Uh, but don't take offence. Um, 
Uh, it goes on to say, I've known you since 2014, where you approach my issue differently than anyone I had ever met. I have fully respected you from that day. Big Piggy, David Morris, BP01, I know you very well, in fact, from many years ago. Does Zex ring any bells? It does. Okay. It does, yeah. I am so pleased to see you people working together on this project. I would just like everyone to know that I have full trust in these people to deliver quality. I have a small RTM in my wallet and have been silently watching everything you guys have been doing. Paul, I still have that badge you made for me. Do you remember? <laughs> I mean, I faintly, I faintly remember giving badges out at an event years ago, maybe 2014, 2015 uh but as i say i've met a lot of people over the years so. uh goes on to say good times thank you for all the work the team is doing for us all involved in blockchain um xtron or xt uh reach out to me on telegram or piggy um my yeah. uh, username is binary one at binary one at telegram big piggy is uh big piggy zero one yeah, it, it, that's right isn't it yeah yeah uh so reach out to one of us and uh just refresh our memories will you um but yeah thanks for the nice comments and uh it, I, I think that because you know some of my old display names it, it does show that you've known us for a long time uh yeah next question is hi team i have a small question i'm from another d coin that i will not mention Oh, another from another coin i think he just made a mistake but i would like to know how you have managed to keep people interested in spite of what has gone on in the world um i think that's a good question i think the simple fact that we've never given up uh we never relax uh we try to keep the community engaged in discord in activities such as trivia and other things sherm's there every day you know, we've got different discords as well. We've got Russian discord, we've got Spanish discord, uh, we've got Arabic discords, which are all active. Um, we all, we always try to keep things fun, uh, especially like with custom commands and things like that in the community and other internal activities. Uh, we've got a real sense of family as such uh, and a closeness between many community members. Um, generally, people respect the efforts that we make because uh we are you know you can see what's being done every day with the work that's been going on done on the chain and things like that uh, we've got multilingual marketing team as well so we output content into many languages which keeps a lot of different people engaged all all over the world um i mean yes it also, it, it also makes it so much easier to find somebody who is interested in engaging if things are really bad in one spot, it's not bad all around and everywhere. Yeah. Which is why people who only market in English, they're doomed. I mean, yes, the, the world is in a bad place right now with lots of distractions and many coins have either gone dead or folded. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is uh, just be consistent, be courteous, be nice to other people, um, no. re respect your community. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to be nice to other people. Uh, I always try and be nice. Uh, keep, well, I, keep. I, I do mostly as well. But you are nice under there, Piggy. You are nice, really. You are. There isn't. There is. Oh. There is. There is nice underneath that thick skin of yours. You need a cuddle. <laughs> you don't want to cuddle me, mate. You'll get COVID. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I that's... never did get. I never did get vaxxed, mate, so I don't think I will. Yeah, well, that's a good point. I was vaxxed three times and I still managed to get it bad. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I think that's why we're still alive and kicking. Uh, after all this time, in spite of negative world events, uh, I think one of the most important things is that we've continuously developed our product and we have shown that we're not driven by money. Um, but we're just here for the love of blockchain and making a big difference in the space, basically. Uh, have you got anything else to add to that, guys? No. No? Not really. Okay. 
Uh, next question is, what will assets bring to blockchain that has not already been done before? How are Raptorium assets different? Hmm? Piggy? No, you skipped one. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, sorry. Can you explain <laughs> a bit more about the concept of transaction decoupling? Um, it, it <coughs> basically, taking some transactions and giving them their own route if you think of a blockchain as a spreadsheet right everything is in columns and rows yeah so when a transaction is written when a block you write row by row by row until you fill up a block then once the block is full you go down a row. You've got different columns for different things. Normally, these are all inside the same block. But what we're going to do here is, instead of having all of the rows inside the same block, we are going to have first row is the base block. It contains two things. What comes out when you mine a block? Those coins and their dispersal. And it contains notarizations of all the other blocks. This is where all of the proof of work lies. It's where all of the, the hash rate protection happens, all that kind of stuff. Column number two is... Another kind of block made on the nodes, eventually, um, where I send some coins to Alejandro, Alejandro sends those coins to Edwin, all of that goes into row number two, row B. Asset transactions. Some types of asset transactions, the issuance, etc., they go into row C. Sending assets go into row. So instead of only having one block going round for X amount of time, we can maybe do four on each, four or five on each of these side chains. And they will be writing themselves into blocks on the main chain. That's that's essentially how it works. It, it, it's just taking some of those rows from the giant spreadsheet and giving them a bit more life of their own. If that makes sense. Okay. Uh, next question is, what will assets bring to blockchain that has not already been done before? How are Raptorium assets different? Uh, question number two earlier today okay uh, next question how will assets have any utility without smart contracts um i suppose i'll answer that uh, well you don't really need contracts for many things on the rtm chain unlike uh ethereum virtual machine chains you can have nfts for example connected to art and other digital assets uh with staggered releases directly from the core wallet um, when utilizing the tokens, uh, especially with the futures code that we that we did earlier on, um, you can tokenize participation in cloud mining operations. Uh, basically, anything to facilitate transactions on the blockchain uh, that can represent an investor's stake in a company, or even like serve as an economic purpose, like points or certificates or in-game items or things like that basically uh, for example with the um, token issuance uh, without any additional contracting a company or project could conduct an ico or raise if they would like to so you know it's it's bigger than just literally having assets it's it's, it's opens up many things yeah you could also... i mean <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you could we'll you could also uh, make tokens that you can use at on other sites or games as in-game currency. 
Yeah. And you don't need coding skills. You just need to understand the JSON RPC interface. Absolutely. And there are millions of coders who can do that. Yep. Solidity issuance of, of what do you call it? Of tokens is a completely different thing. Uh, there really aren't as many people who can do that. And it's, it also boils down to the main issue, which is really security. Because on an EVM chain, or one of the other chains where you've got to code your token and how it interacts with the blockchain, you've got that code as an additional vector. It's not part of the chain itself. But here, with us, it is 100% part of the native blockchain, which means if you want to attack it, you have to attack the native blockchain itself which is a much more complex undertaking. I mean, some of the DeFi hacks that have happened is just because people haven't upgraded Node.js. Like, literally. Some of the really big hacks. It, it's, a Node puts out uh, a version a month. So imagine trying to keep pace with that. Yeah. No, 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 just not funny. Oh, it is not. Okay. Uh, do you expect the same amount of delays for smart contracts that all other chain features up to this point have experienced? Well, it's very easy. Does whoever asked this question think there will be a repeat of 2020, 2021? If there is a repeat of 2020, 2021, yeah. It's going to take a lot longer than what we envision. But uh, that's not really something we can do anything about. Uh, otherwise, no. Okay. Uh, how will the team avoid running into development hell with smart contracts, given that it is the most advanced feature? It worries me that as an investor that those features may never come. Could you offer some reassurance to the community that smart contracts will not be delayed indefinitely? Again, same answer. 2020, 2021. If uh, you can find me those three to 4,000 man hours of coding we lost there, hey, I can do magic too. <laughs> uh, and... I am going to continue to be as flippant as that about it. I'm not going to offer anybody any reassurances because the political situation right now is such a disgrace that really I can't. And I'm not going to guess at it. And if you don't like that, please dump your bags and move on. Okay. I'll buy them. <laughs> yeah, I will as well. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to check the sheet to see if there's any more questions come in. Uh, it doesn't appear so. So we're going to go to the YouTube channel to see if there's any questions on there. Um, Budweiser says the Shermanator. He likes you, Sherm. Kilburn is saying RTM to $200. <laughs> I really don't think it's going to go that far. <laughs> Although he says, okay, real goal, RTM to $60. Yeah. Guys, thoughts on the new Ant Miner X5 XMR ASIC Miner? Any thoughts on that, guys? Piggy has a lot of thoughts well, on X. <laughs> hey, go ahead. None, none really. Um, if they have a random X ASIC Miner out now, then... Um, I mean, supposedly they may put out a yeah. uh, you know, some new ways of coming out for Monero. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So that'll be yeah. Uh, well, that'll be on <laughs> Haven and other stuff, won't it? That thing. No. 
No, only the random Xbox. I hear the same. We got a an ASIC for Monero now. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what it is. Or Casper too, has yeah. problem, a lot of problems now with ASICs. Yeah, Casper. not, 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 not really. Not well, really with Casper. Yeah. With Casper, you've got to look at it like this. They've already issued 85% of the coins they're ever going to issue. There's 15% of the coins for the next 10, 50, uh, many years. So in order to guarantee a stable hash rate that's reasonably secure, they kind of need ASICs because GPU and CPU miners will move where the money is. Uh, it's that simple. An ASIC can't move. So they need it. It, it makes perfect sense. Uh, I mean, the, the problem is with the company that's making the ASICs and how they're releasing them and all that kind of stuff. The ASICs themselves, for the model they're using, they make perfect sense. You have to be there, yes. Next question is, will nodes be able to verify transactions and confirm them early, non-dependent from block timing, utilizing smart nodes to increase transaction speed? That is what you mean by transaction decoupling, because a lot of those smaller transactions are going to run via the node network. They're going to get a quorum each, where they're going to basically a transaction comes into that quorum, then they'll vote, does my chain say that this address has this? And then uh, it'll go from there. Okay, Kilburn, Kilburn saying, uh, so that being said on the updates coming in phases, how long does this delay smart contracts? Mm, smart contracts are on the other side of it. So exactly how long that is, we'll see. He says, or, we'll do you, see. or do you guys have an independent team working on smart contracts on the side? No, we have some development going on on the side for smart contracts, but not, uh, not public and not full hammer yet. But I believe we have all the architecture, etc., done. So it really also depends on how we do all of the transaction decoupling, because the integration of contracts is going to be making use of some of that, which means that each contract may end up with its own little voting group of nodes that are randomly selected a few times a day so we've got to basically finish the whole decoupling process before we can go much further than where we are at the moment with contracts but limiting the scope of what interactions can take place in apache spark and stuff like that that that's all relatively easily doable okay uh, he's now saying RTM to thirty dollars. So he started at two hundred, went to sixty. Now he's at thirty. <laughs> uh, I'd be happy, to be honest, I'd be happy with ten bucks. Uh, Fire and leave. He's saying, "What about brain AI technology? You know anything about that?" I mean, brain AI. Is that really is that relation to anything on blockchain? Looks like he's got about 20 messages retracted as well. So I don't know what's going on there. Byron Lee is saying, real goal, let's get to a dollar on RTM. Maybe even to 25 cents. Not financial advice to your own research, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Jeff is saying, I missed this. Why were you gone? Everybody's batteries recharged and ready to go. Why were you gone even? Well, I was on holiday for three weeks. Then when I got back, uh, I, were, I had COVID for a week and a half, which was not the best thing ever. Uh, but we're back now. We're in full force. And uh, yeah, 
it's good to be back uh so now we're going to go over to the stream party chat see if there's any questions there doesn't look like there's any questions there guys if you've got any questions for us shoot them over to the stream party chat if not then i'm going to go over to the weekly talking points quickly and we're going to zoom through those i think piggy's going to need to get going very shortly yep okay hns is asking isn't now puts value in in using rtm's wallet instead of opening a, an account hence the reason for converting other coins to rtm to use now put instead of using the underlying coins such as buying a put on btc using btc the impact on rtm no on rtm nodes could be very positive and 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 then he's saying next logical question are there other business examples that can use that capability piggy that's in stream party chat um, where, where are we where are we um we are now puts value um opening account yes um there's going to be other coin usage on now put but we are still waiting on finishing the socials dashboard on there as soon as we're done with the socials dashboard it, it's been an absolute cluster fuck um and that that's uh that's a term i don't use normally uh but it has been twitter changed their api reddit changed their api google changed their terms of service uh so what we had that was a reasonably working socials media dashboard turned into rubbish um however it is being repaired and rebuilt and once we're done rebuilding it then we're going to do what Pinky and Brain do every night. Okay. Well, that about wraps it up for the uh, Raptorium AMA. We've gone through every single question answered as deeply as we could. Uh, so now we're going to go to the weekly talking points. And uh, Piggy, is there anything you could tell us about Assets DevNet? How is that going? Uh, the DevNet is more or less done. We are just working on one last bug in what's in the development branch. And once that's done, we're going to look at getting it out onto the testnet. Okay, brilliant. Uh, we, As you can see, we've got our live streams back now, uh, back on track after my holiday. And also next week, the CryptoSmith streams will be back on as well. I've got no idea what he's going to be creating, but it'll be nice to get back to normal with the uh, Smith streams and all the fun that comes along with that. Uh, so expect to see that next Sunday. Um, I do apologize for being a week late on the Raptorium streams as I managed to get uh, pretty bad COVID when I got home. Uh, the wife was ill with it as well. Uh, so we were dealing with that, um, but I'm here and back now full force for Raptorium and uh, looking forward to to the uh, second half of this year to really push things for Raptorium and uh, assets and everything else that comes along with it. You just need a cuddle, mate. Yeah, I just need a cuddle. If anyone could give me a cuddle, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually hardly cuddled anybody recently just because of the... <laughs> See? See? I told you. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. I just, just need a cuddle. Um... Am I allowed to mention that next thing, Piggy, or not? Which one? The uh, the thing that rhymes with um, milky bag on. <laughs> it's, it's on the weekly yeah. talking points. Uh... I don't think I am. Am I? I think I think he wants to do a bit more on that. Yeah. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not. I'm going to skip that. But it's a really interesting thing 
and uh it's it's something that people have been waiting for to hear a bit of an update on yeah uh so i'm not going to mention that right now i'll let uh i'll let charlie uh i'll let charlie mention yeah that. that that's his baby that's yeah. his thing yeah charlie's actually off right now he's in the midst of fixing the the uh the explorer explorer's been having some issues today so he's he's hammering on that right now that's why he's not on the stream uh so charlie if you're watching you know hope you're doing all right with that uh hopefully that should be back up uh, by the end of the night uh we are now we are now in the youtube partner program with a big thanks to h&s uh for the shorts uh, and all the work on the channel that h&s has been doing um and also a big thank you to you all for watching us as well uh i have no clue why you watch us at all uh, we're just a bunch of idiots <laughs> but yeah big thank you for watching us uh this means we can have uh memberships and also make the stream chats a bit more interesting and and expect to see some changes in that regard in terms of the stream chats with like custom stickers and, and whatever else like that so we can also merge into other platforms as well a lot more easier using this uh this now upgraded partner account that we've got so thank you all for uh sticking with us and watching us and uh, we really appreciate the support and the especially the watch hours as well uh we have tidied up the automations on the reddit account it was getting a bit too much really with the full descriptions of all the tweets and things going into the titles for the reddit post so we've changed that now so it's a lot more tidier um we've also now uh registered up with a email marketing platform uh as we understand that's one thing that we weren't tapping into um over the last few years so uh not going to mention the name of the platform but it's a prominent platform that's used by many of the top coins uh they do market themselves of ha of having a 97 percent delivery rate which is pretty good uh so we're setting up with that at the moment and we're going to get some uh some emails out to uh customers that probably well not customers people that that only really check emails that don't really attack their social media so it might it might do good for the for the coin by you know focusing a bit more onto that sherm how is the discord how's things Discord's good i mean the community's doing well i mean they definitely missed you while you're away on vacation and you know, all your salty trivias and but 30 did a good job filling in on monday yeah he did yeah everybody's yeah. so that was good you know, obviously everybody's happy to see the YouTube monetization, but that's pretty cool. And yeah, good shout out to H&S for all the shorts. And I keep watching, you know, so we start getting the you know ad revenue as well. And then uh, let's see, you know, obviously you've been testing the DevNet, you know, with assets. That's been uh, exciting. It's obviously very close and can't wait. The marketplace, obviously coming along as well. That looks amazing. So can't wait to start testing that when assets on testnet. And then uh, let's see, there was a new pool that started up called uh, Cloud IKO. Cloud IO. I think they got zero percent pool fees till the end of the year. That's from Bakiko, isn't it? Yeah, Cloud I IKO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloud Eco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eco. Yeah, you see, sure, it was good that we supported that guy, wasn't it? You know, we were really, we were really helping that guy out, and and now now he's created yeah, this. Really... I can call his pool, so that's pretty cool. Yeah awesome stuff and you got i nodes they're almost at 600 nodes and 599 the network's almost got 1000 active nodes i think got about eight more to go so you know we're growing everything's going good and thanks for all the support fantastic sham dirty minor what's going on in, in the world of shit coins uh there's a good amount i guess uh with like dynex showed us an example of a centralized project um, uh, something went down at, on, on their side and, uh, mining kind of got borked for a bit. Is that some salt, uh, salt you're scattering there, uh, dirty? <laughs> uh, I learned about Flux Discord notifications, so that was fun. Uh, uh Casper's hash rate is over like 14 petahash, according to t two miners. 
uh, there's a couple of different hash rates for that. Uh, not sure which one's the right one actually, but you know you can do your own research on that one. There's a it's a little rabbit hole. Uh, Iron is considering a an algo change. Uh, they have a issue with like unknown hash rate. But been some pretty good discussions over there on their mining chat. Um, Geo put out an update to allow compressed plots created straight from the GUI or CLI. Uh, I will say that it, uh, Blade Bits version takes more resources uh, and you get a lower compression level. I think like their C7 is, compression level seven is uh, equivalent to Mad Max's like four uh, or four four to five, it's around there. Um, and you can't, uh, you, you need a GPU for that instead of a CPU on like on maxes. Uh, CPU would be enough to farm those compressed plots. Uh, Pepe had three of its team members remove about 15 million worth of coins from a multi-sig wallet. So uh, yeah. Pepe rug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely. Anyway, I've got to go and take the kids to school. Have fun, guys. Catch you later, Piggy. Later, Piggy. Alejandro, how is everything in the Spanish community, and what, what are you working on? Um, the Spanish community, we are now working with the CoinX a Spanish team. We make an event next week um, about learning about Raptorian with people joining a like their uh, community of CoinX and of course with the community of RTM Spanish and we got the place uh, we got uh, the place web place for the community ready it's done it's working perfect but we have to work on other things there like a marketplace and things like that just for the Spanish the community and uh, it will be in any language but uh, we will try to punt it to spanish we might be having a peer-to-peer -peer community marketplace like for example if i'm from brazil i have a brazil a brazil payment method i don't have to go through go and buy la a bitcoin and then change it to something else then by Raptorium, we are trying to make some scrolls system so we people can just move very quickly between Argentina, Brazil, and all these uh, coins. <laughs> it, it, it is not; it will not be nothing official like like uh, like a exchange, crypto exchange, of course. But we want to have something for the community because we need it. We really, we need really need it. Or get money, buy Raptorium. People want to buy Raptorium, but very difficult to buy Raptorium with just fiat money directly to Raptorium. So we, we are fucking. I hope we can make something about it. Yes, we are trying. Yes, I hope so. I've, I've heard that uh, Dex Trade has now got Visa to crypto, hasn't it? Sure, I got. Mm. Sure, I heard that that yesterday. I I don't know that. We actually really make a test for a marketplace peer-to-peer -peer just to buy, uh, for example, with... Here in Brazil, you can move PIX, which is something very easy. You take the phone, make a PIX, and it goes in one second. And if we can make that thing for Raptorium, like other Argentina have some different option. Uh, Chile, I live in Chile and I have... I know there are different options in Chile. You don't have to go through the whole thing to go um, and, and put fiat money on an exchange and then from the exchange make it to Bitcoin uh, or USDT and then get Raptorium. Then you lost time and you lost commissions, which is bad. But I hope, yes, we are working on it. And if the community grows more, there is more developers, people come on, everything goes smooth, then you will have options for sure and I think uh, right now we are working with Coinex which is very good and, and we are trying to push more 
uh, on the CoinEx market because there is a huge market on CoinEx. So we are very happy with that. I hope everything gets well this week. I will announce that on the social networks. Um, I hope uh, CoinEx uh, give us a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for Raptorium soon. I wish that. I will tell Jose Ito and all these people from CoinEx to try to, to see an opportunity to put peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. I guess right now everything else is on Binance, but I'm sure the people from CoinEx will do something about it. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Uh, finally, I don't think I mentioned this, uh, but we've now got open channels uh, with the Komodo team uh, for a closer working relationship uh, on things moving forward. Um, this was on the back of the Komodo article uh, that that you did on the on the blog. Uh, if you want to check that art article out, that is blog.raptorium.com. Uh, Komodo did actually mention that it's um, you know the the atomic decks that's now called uh komodo wallet so we had to go over that article and change all the references for atomic decks to komodo wallet which which is done now but yeah guys if you want to check that out that is a blog.raptorium.com and if you are watching uh at the komodo team how are you doing guys thanks uh thanks for everything and I think that just about wraps it up for the weekly talking points and the Raptorium AMA. Is there anything you want to you want to say on 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 here, guys? Before we go, Sherm, have you anything you want to say? Just thanks again for all the support. Keep it up. Keep watching those videos. And uh, yeah, yeah. Would like to say it's good to see you back, Vanarai, and I hope we can keep working very well and making things better all these days and i hope we can make some nice contact with artificial intelligence that everybody likes <laughs> i hope so <laughs> yeah i think we'll be all right man anything to say dirty not much not much but there yeah. is something yeah uh, just have a good day <laughs> keep on mining okay Thanks for watching the AMA. I hope we've answered all your questions in as much depth of, as you would have liked. Uh, Falcon is saying, binary blood cuddle level is too low. That is that is true, bro. That is true. Everyone thinks it's vitamin D that helps fight off the COVID, but it's really the cuddles. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching us. Don't forget to be back next Sunday where we will have the weekly talking points uh, as usual. And also we will have the Crypto Smith stream as well. So we're, we're looking forward to getting that uh, done after all this time. And uh, yeah, thanks for supporting the project. And uh, don't forget to follow us at Raptorium at Twitter, at Instagram and at Threads. And also make sure to follow us at this uh, YouTube channel as well to be kept up to date with any new videos and updates that we will be putting out thanks again guys catch you later